coming in with the peach slices, salicylic acid, oil-free moisturizer. My skin is still damp. That's going to enhance the penetration of the salicylic acid and the niacinamide in this. Both are good for hyperpigmentation and minimizing sun damage. And I've been taking this down to my neck, the salicylic acid moisturizer, with no problem. <laughs> um, but salicylic acid, it can be a little irritating on the neck. This particular moisturizer is 0.5% salicylic acid, less likely to cause irritation there. All right, I'm going to put some sunscreen on my body. This is the Replenix um, Hydra Hydrating Antioxidant Sunscreen SPF 50. This is a combination sunscreen. It has zinc and some filters for UVB. It's pretty moisturizing. It kind of has this brownish yellowish hue, but it's not actually tinted. I think the color is maybe from the green tea. I started a new book from the library last night. It's called Irish Country Cottage. It's pretty good, actually. It's a series. I didn't realize that when I picked the book. Don't you hate it when you, that happens? Does that ever happen to you? You don't realize the book is in a series. I'm not sure if it's like I'm completely out of the loop. It seems to be making sense. Um, but it's really good. It's about these Irish country doctors. I'm enjoying it. The guy who wrote it is a physician too. So, this is a Japanese sunscreen that is skin aqua. It's fragrance free, it's a combination sunscreen. It has zinc, um, octinoxate, and juvenile A, which is a really good filter for UVA. It doesn't really leave much of a cast, although if you have a deeper skin tone, that zinc will show up. It's, I already said it's fragrance free. It doesn't have any drying alcohols in it. Alcohol and sunscreen is fine. It helps to, uh, it helps with dissolving the filters and it also helps to create a lightweight, fast absorbing, quick dry formula. But for some people with really dry skin, it can be irritating. This doesn't have that. It's pretty moisturizing and it's water resistant. <laughs> my hair's stuck to my hand here. I'm able to tolerate it around my eyes really well too. It is a little shiny though. Don't forget your ears. Still wearing my step tracker watch. See, it's the inaccuracy of the iPhone that makes me really resistant to get an Apple Watch. Do you guys have an Apple Watch? I am, I have resisted getting one because I, I don't know. I feel like I don't like big bulky watches. Even this, sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I, don't, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like watches necessarily. And that one I've heard is a pain to charge. Some people love it though. I'm gonna do the Maybelline Fall Seas here. Wish you guys are on. Have you on a lazy Susan? If your name is Susan, does that not annoy you that they call that thing lazy Susan? It's kind of like I feel bad for anyone who's named Karen because 2020 was like the worst year for you. People were unabashedly mean to anybody whose name happened to be Karen. Yeah, I stayed out really late last night and so I'm a little slow today. You can see in horrible bathroom lighting. It's not too bad. Okay, you can, This lighting actually will show you the cast. In natural lighting, you really can't see it um, like on the camera but you can kind of see it here with this bad lighting beaming down on me. <laughs> uh, why not check out some vintage secondhand stores? Not that I'm expecting to find skincare in those. So that is where we're headed, but, but it's not been as bad in terms of the heat index. I mean, in don't get me- mile, turn right onto Bissonnette Street. Don't get me wrong, it's been hot, but it's pleasant out. I've been enjoying it. You know, the thing about 
Houston and Florida. It's, this is kind of like our winter. Most people end up spending a lot more time indoors, actually. Um, kind of like what happens in colder climates in the winter. Oh, this gentleman. I'm not going to obviously publicly shame him on the internet. But this guy. No helmet. On this busy intersection. Minimal clothing. By minimal clothing, I mean, yes, he's clothed. Shorts and a tank top. Um, no sunglasses. The sun beating down on him. No hat. Uh, reminds me of that... Is it TLC show, Naked and Afraid? As a dermatologist, that show makes my teeth hurt. The idea of people, like, completely naked, trying to survive in the sun. It's like, oh, God, stop, stop, stop. Look who's out to play, you guys, my hair. I've got got it out of the bun. It's it's uh, recess time. I don't wear my hair down very much. I have it in a low ponytail. I, I don't wear it down too much because it kind of gets in the way. Where are we supposed to go, Surrey? Looks like I'm not the only one who wanted to enjoy the day. Ooh, what is this? Uh, beer garden? I don't know. People drinking beer outside. That is not good for your skin. I mean, I know, I'm, I don't mean to be a party pooper, but the combination of alcohol plus you, drinking alcohol in the sun is really hard on your skin because alcohol kind of depletes the antioxidant reserve and then you've got the UV beating down on you and alcohol is, um, makes you all red and stuff. Yeah. Alcohol plus sun is not a good combination. Dunlavi, Dunleavy, no. A million, a million, a million here, yeah, a million there. Young money millionaire. Oh, the battery's gonna die. One thing I hate about this camera, I have a Sony camera, and all of them are like this. The battery port is in the stupid location so that if you have the camera on a tripod and you need to change the battery, you have to take the camera off the tripod. I know that sounds like a first world problem thing, but when you're in the moment of filming, like to have to do that is a major, major pain. Like a lot of times I'll be in the middle of my sunscreen application, for example, and my battery will die. Well, I've got to stop what I'm doing, change the battery, take it off the tripod. So I'm just going to leave you guys there until the battery dies. I do have another battery. Although I may go on the phone. That might be an option. Uh, Alright, point two miles going to be done lobby. Done lobby. Done lobby. Done lobby. Are you still there? Can you hear me? <laughs> Turn left onto Dun Lobby Street. Turn right onto Westheimer Road. I like that house. I have some nice houses back in here. I always get freaked out at a four-way stop in Houston because I've noticed that some people acknowledge them and others do not. If you know, you know. Ooh, that's a nice house. All right, so the battery died. I replaced it. We're here at this place called Pavement. <laughs>
was pretty crowded in pavement. I perused the t-shirts, but now I'm coming in here at this old blue house antique shop. I doubt you just heard that because <laughs> loud sounds from the cars outside. Cute. This Navy officer's wardrobe, this dinnerware. They're nice. This looks like something that would take you an eternity to assemble from Ikea, but not quite the same time period. This is nice. so cool. They were made so well in comparison to the junk we have now. Some people collect old cameras. There's some nice ones here. Little people, dollhouse people. Oh my god, how cool is this? It's a Barbie airplane set. Like the little flight attendant station. Because there's always a room for all of this wardrobe. Back to school, anyone? The yellow submarine lunchbox. Do you guys remember when lunchboxes were like metal and they had this like thermos that occupied like two thirds of the interior? <laughs> what a potato masher? Looks like it. Oh, get all the Snoopy stuff. Peanuts. These glasses. This was like a thing back then. I remember to have glasses with like this. There has to be a name for this style of glass with cartoon characters painted on it. Winnie the Pooh. I know I had them. They were the kind of thing that you could get like. Is this? Did McDonald's have them, or some restaurant would give them away? Like you get one with your meal. I remember they had like, I had a Garfield one. They're just things that you have in your lifetime that you just don't think are gonna be like obsolete one day. And then next thing you know, you're in an antique store and you're like, hey, I remember those. <laughs> Glasses are kind of the same thing, but Santa Claus ones, Christmas ones. Do I have a name? I think it should. Oh, that's cool. A little. Jewelry box. Mm. 
Bruce. What is that? A vaporizer? Hmm, I wonder if it still works. Alright, update. I got stuck in the rain after we last left off with a very full bladder. So I came in here to HEB to use the water closet. <laughs> oh my gosh, they've got the little mini razors in here too. Diosa. Diosa. All sorts of little uh, cuticle tool for inducing nail ridging in your spare time anyone ew heb has this ultra sunscreen this is a chemical sunscreen it should leave no cast looks like heb left out the fragrance <gasps> awesome spf 100 this looks like a good one texans nine dollars heb what is this mineral sensitive for face? Water resistant up to 80 minutes. Zinc oxide, it's gonna leave a cast, but good for people who find that chemical sunscreens burn and sting. Also appears to be free of fragrance. Wow, why have I been sleeping on HEB for sunscreens? I know, because I have a million sunscreens, but they have a nice selection here. Coconut, banana, these are scented. Now the sprays, you have to be careful with sprays because there are a few issues that you can run into. First of all, when it comes to your face, you don't wanna spray directly onto your face. Spray into your palms, then pat into your face. That way you don't inhale the sunscreen particles, the safety of which is unknown. And the other thing is you can get a lot of skip areas with sprays, especially if you're spraying outdoors in an area with there's wind or whatnot, you're gonna end up spraying the spraying the mosquito next door. Um, so do mold ideally you ideally you put it on while you're indoors, but obviously that's not always possible. Just make sure there's not a lot of wind and do multiple passes and then you actually have to rub it in with your hands. <laughs> That's the situation with the sprays. As much as I detest fragrance in sunscreens, these HEB scents are intriguing. White gardenia, pink peony, pomegranate, mango, coconut. I need feedback. Do these smell as good as they sound? Seaweed brand. Active Defense SPF 50. This is a combination sunscreen, so it's gonna be somewhere in the be in between as far as the cast, between an all mineral, which is very casty, and a chemical, which is no cast. Unfortunately, this one's got flavor and <laughs> bladder whack, which is the seaweed. Bladder whack seaweed um, is good for hydration. See, people are always like sunscreens aren't really moisturizing, but they really can be. They really can be. They've got the right combination of ingredients in them. Now some mineral sunscreens, the zinky zinky ones, they can be a little drying depending on the overall formulation. It's just kind of something you have to play around with. I'm intrigued by this hair detangler. And oh they have a shampoo too. Texas girl. I think I need that. I kind of want to try the sugar plum kiss too. Ooh coconut blossom. I have enough detanglers. I don't need a kitty one but isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> this is too. That's cute. Uh, shine gloss. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. <laughs> what you know about me? What you, what you know about me? <laughs> Lady looked at me like, what is she? Sh what is she talking? Who is she talking to? Oh, only you do. Cream shop. How's their mascara? 
they used to have these sheet masks that I adored. They obviously, I think they did have fragrance in them. Actually, maybe they did not, but I enjoyed them. Cream shop, crease-free eye primer. How is the makeup? I got a selection of e.l.f. here. This ATB is well stocked. One thing I love about this particular H-E-B, as opposed to the one near me, is the width of the aisles. I don't like store, grocery stores where they have narrow aisles because I feel like there's always this pressure to keep moving. And when it comes to decisions around like what kind of laundry detergent you're gonna get, you want to have time and you don't wanna be pressured. And I feel like the narrow aisles just lead to pressure. That's one thing I really hated about New York. <gasps> what is this? Anyways, as I interrupted myself, one thing I hated about New York was the, sto the grocery stores had like super narrow aisles. This Flawless Matte CC Cream Shade Ginger. This is it promising? Give you a little protection against the making wavelengths of visible light that can lead to more early onset and stubborn hyperpigmentation. How is this, how are these deeper shades? How do they perform? Does anybody know? I'm, I'm curious. Looks like a better selection of shades from Neutrogena as opposed to, historically they were always more like this option. Um, and that's as deep as they go in the hydrating tint. These look good though, these look promising. I didn't see fragrance, but I didn't look, I didn't spend a lot of time analyzing. This is a great product, by the way, the Hydro Boost of the Palm. I am a fan of that. Uh, Bear Mills. They have a sunscreen that I've tried before, a tinted sunscreen. It's pretty good, but it's not like a full package because it's titanium dioxide plus like a chemical filter. And you never want, if you are looking at ingredients, and you see titanium dioxide, but you don't see zinc oxide, that is an indicator that it's not likely the most broad spectrum in the sense of the breadth of UVA coverage. You really want zinc in there as well. Titanium dioxide doesn't get as extensively as the U of the UVA. Fruity smoothie. I'm gonna bet that's scented. Boy, this is pleasant. Is this kind of like a dupe for that brand? I can't remember what they were called. Um, you know where they had the Hula bronzer? Benefit. That's kind of what this looks like. Oh yeah, the Balm. I think I got something from the Balm once in a, like a FabFitFun box or something. Or maybe the brand sent it to me. I don't know. Revolution. I think we talked about these serums from them before in Target. Except the super fruit extract. I don't recall seeing that. That seems okay, but kind of unnecessary. I guess maybe it's a lightweight moisturizer that you could put on before makeup or something, but. I covered these new Pixie products that I believe are all fragrance-free, the blue ones. I don't know if they all are, but I remember talking about these with you guys in a Target video. This Clarity Lotion has ceramides, willow bark, which is anti-inflammatory. It looked to be pretty good. I've never tried it though, so. It could be one of those things where on paper it looks good, but then you get it and it's like, did I really just pay $24 for that? Ew, what is this? Intense moisturizing cream. This looks like a dupe for Hill Country Essentials. Deep for, dupe for Cetaphil. That does look good, actually, as a moisturizer for face and or body. Hill Country's got a dupe for for um, the face wash. Well, hey guys, I just got out of the shower, finished my skincare routine. I'm rocking my red, white, and blue. I even have blue shorts on, you can't see. I got this at Walmart a while ago, and it... This style of tea, I think it's time and true. It's supposed to have a little, you're supposed to knot it, but I just undo that and let it, let it hang. They're really comfortable and they maintain their color. They don't fade or shrink or get weird looking. 
really good quality. I'm telling you, Walmart, is it just me? They have really stepped up their clothing selection as of lately. Coming in with my Eucerin Roughness Relief. H-E-B, I had the most pleasant experience with that H-E-B. I don't like shopping at the H-E-B near me because the aisles, like I was complaining in there about how I don't like tight aisles. The aisles are really tight and it always feels like there's somebody like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and it's like, I can't. Um, so I don't enjoy shopping at the one by me, but that one was, I, pref I think H-E-B is giving Trader Joe's a run for their money, at least in Texas, because they have their own kind of unique stuff that you can't get at other stores, kind of like how Trader Joe's does. Like they come out with seasonal fun stuff. <sighs> Feels good to rub this on your feet. <laughs> this is my urea foot cream. It helps soften calluses. Wow, what a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. We saw a lot of fun stuff today. I enjoyed it. Um, but if you guys enjoy vlogs and you missed yesterday's vlog, hello, I will put it on the next slide for you. But if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.